You must have been on a lot of interviews, done a lot of junkets. So you're really experienced when it comes to this sort of hard hitting <laughs> question and answer. I'm gonna bring it to the next level. What? <laughs> I'm gonna ask you questions. Hopefully, you've never been asked before. Mm -hmm. They're gonna drive right to your soul, and you're gonna feel something with each question asked. Hopefully, <laughs> if I've done my job right. Mm. If you could travel to one country with me mm. for a week for free, mm. where would we go? Where would we go? That's tough, because I wanna go everywhere with you. Well, my job's done. <laughs> That's really tough. I definitely want to go to Japan with you. Mm -hmm. There were too many spots I wasn't able to go to. Mm -hmm. So there's so much of Japan that we could totally enjoy together. And the food is ridiculously delicious. And I always dreamt of going to Japan with the person I love. Mm -hmm. I know this is a bit cheesy, but... I really want to go to New York with you. Mm -hmm. Growing up, you know, watching all those movies, um, all those series and how they romanticized New York. When I finally went on my own, it just really felt like a romantic place for me, but I was alone and it made me sad. <laughs> and I was just like, I really want to go to New York and just experience, you know, the fast paced, um, you know, lifestyle plus the greasy pizza. That's spots. why you like New York. I love New York. You just want to eat pizza with I, me. I just want to eat pizza with you. <laughs> I know you've been, mm -hmm. but I've never been to Paris. I've actually never been to Europe except for London. Yeah. I've only been to London, so I'd love to go to Patty. What about Morocco and Norway? You know everywhere I want to go with you. You, you, no, you know John. I want to go to Morocco and buy rugs with you and just like <laughs> decorate our house with the most extravagant um extravagant. extravagant um marvelous marvelous extraordinary um textile okay that answer <laughs> is sufficient <laughs> number two what do you like about kids <laughs> you suck I'll take the point. <laughs> You're so good. I like it's your <laughs> tissue. It's okay. not fair. What do you not like about <laughs> kids? <laughs> and then we'll we'll cross off the well, list. Hmm? I just love kids because I feel like I'm a kid in a lot of ways. Um I love kids because they're so why am I so emotional right now? <laughs> you know I just, exactly I asked what the to right ask questions. me. I love how creative they are. They're not pretentious at all. There's no fear yet. There's no judgment. If they like you, they like you. If they don't like you, they don't. It's very like straight up with kids. And I love how curious they are and and enthusiastic and positive and yeah they're just not afraid to you know jump or laugh really loud or eat with their hands and i just i love everything about children and i love who i am when i'm around kids I love the me that they bring out when I'm that around you always kids. always light up. That's why when I met you, I said, 
you bring out the eight-year-old in me because mm. that's how I feel when I'm around kids because your heart is just so beautiful and pure. Thanks. Well, I feel the same way about you. I feel childish. <laughs> <laughs> childish or childlike? <laughs> childish. I think it's a compliment. <laughs> With after your childish. description of it. No, it's good. Let us take it far away from here with okay. question three. Okay, good. Would you rather fly in a spaceship hmm. or swim with sharks? Fly in a spaceship. You would. Hell yeah. Okay. As long as you're in it with Oh me. yeah, I'll be there either. It's kind of a flexible yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, spaceship. Mm -hmm. Spaceship for sure. I would have like a lot of conditions for the spaceship, mm. but if you really wanted to. And our kids need to be there. Of course, they are. And, and we, you know, 100% success rate and all yeah. that stuff. You did a good job there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already happy to see the sun with you, so. Oh. oh. And the moon. What is one of your best memories so far of 2021? That's tough. Oh. When we went to the Obi mm -hmm. and we saw our baby's face mm -hmm. that was through cool. the ultrasound and the 4D. Yeah. I thought that was the most beautiful thing mm -hmm. I've ever seen in my whole entire life, apart from seeing you. Well, you're making something beautiful. With you. Handsome. Mm. Cool. Number five. Mm -hmm. On average per day, how many glasses of water do you honestly drink? <laughs> Baby. Okay, that's that's an indictment right there. I try to aim. No, no, no. I'm not asking for your aim. I'm asking for what you honestly drink. I don't drink enough water. Mm-hmm. You needed a confession <laughs> on tape. You needed it on tape. You piece of shit. The record show <laughs> <laughs> that no number has been given. Uh, I try uh, my best. <laughs> See, these are the tough questions. You're horrible. These are the tough questions. You didn't know. See, they're coming from you from all sides. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to get every emotion from me that's what i do if you were cast if you were casted i don't know how to if you were casted no is it cast or casted if you were casted if you had if you could <laughs> oh no 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 oh no no I can hear it. Do anything. 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 Do role to like do seven to eight different characters in one movie but then we watched and really did a whole marathon of lord of the rings and the hobbit and i just completely got smitten by schmeagel and Gollum. Gollum. <laughs> I can't do it right now, but You're I can't ever do it. But I definitely want to like morph into mm. a creature that mm. is like really funky. It's a hard thing to explain, but sometimes you just get a feeling and you know there's something to this creature that's very unusual. But, <laughs> okay. Okay. but 
has like real vulnerability and I think that process is like freaking insane I think I would love to go to work yeah you know having a challenge like the role of yeah. Gollum I'm dead serious too yeah. You know how serious I am about this. Yeah, I wish I had a role for you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be great. My precious. Yeah, yeah, that's like another nickname we call mm. each other, so. <laughs> Do you have any allergies? You suck. 20 minutes later. And here you are, taking your goddamn sweet time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm allergic to penicillin and amoxicillin. Oh, there was a point in my life where it was like, I had so much apples mm. because we had like eight apple trees and right. seven pear trees in our backyard in Virginia. And I ate so much apples. I developed, you know, an allergy towards it was, but then I love apples so much that I like just kept eating applesauce even if my throat would like close a little bit yeah. and then it just went away I just but like, I really kept think eating. that it's something you should probably watch out for and stay away from <laughs> because let's say it comes up suddenly applesauce maybe you shouldn't eat that anymore because it's your favorite and your mom knows it's your favorite. I had no idea it was your favorite until three jars of applesauce were gone. Like, gone. Yeah, but they were small jars. I had a teaspoon. Yeah, they were small. They were very small jars. <laughs> they were I mean, not small. They could fit in the palm of your hand, all three of them. But I'm... <laughs> that's not true. They were thick-ass <laughs> jars. I was like, ooh, I know his next favorite. <laughs> mm. Mm. Blackmail. I found it. Number eight. Mm -hmm. Cats or dogs? Maybe. I had two dogs before. I loved them to pieces. And I was like sort of a midwife to the to my female dog. So dogs. But then oh. I had a cat for a while, maybe two months, and I developed an allergy. Oh, there's my other allergy. See, that's why I asked it right afterwards. Mm. <laughs> Smart. I developed a skin allergy, which I, I really didn't mind. I, I just went to the dermatologist and had, you mm. know, cream, put it on each one, but it almost covered my body. It was so bad. Um, but I still didn't give her up. Um, I gave her up when I started developing asthma. So I'm allergic to cats. So. But I love cats. Let's move on. Let's, you know, water under a bridge, river over a hill. Mm-hmm. If you were in Avatar, the last airbender, what bending power would you have? If you have a powerful mind, you can, you can choose. So, my husband told me. No, no, no. What do you think you are? I think I'm an earthbender. Because mm. I like the idea of like, you know, stomping and feeling the vibrations of the earth. Yeah. And the idea that you could also learn how to bend metal and you can also like create lava. Uh oh, spoilers. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh. Did I say it out loud? Yeah. Like if I would like stomp and then you can like detect like, oh, people are, you know, running through that side of the cave or like whatever. Like yeah. you can totally, and you can detect so many things just by vibration. Yeah. That's so insane. I'm definitely not like a waterbender. I drown. You're not you're definitely not an airbender. 
Please expound your opinion. No, you're definitely... Listen, I agree with you. You're definitely not. <laughs> First of all, I did not say that I definitely wasn't an airbender. Wait, I said... Your fingers are... Uh, <laughs> why are they up there? <laughs> I said I wasn't a waterbender, <laughs> for sure. Is your neck okay? <laughs> good, good to know. That's what why. are you? What do you think? No, that's not the question. I guess I would be more of like a, a spirit bender. <laughs> <laughs> you are no spirit bender. I would be that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> bloodbender. I think, think you could blood be a. Bender? I think you could be a bloodbender. Damn. That's you messed think up. That highly of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. Well, cool. I'll take it. I think it's important to have a whole story in your your, your bending powers compass. Exactly, and then it's like, oh, God, these these. There's a whole narrative there oh, already. Oh please. <laughs> <laughs> You know they're going to keep me around for three seasons at mm, least. Until you actually bloodbend. Oh my gosh. Then it becomes the next You decide to bloodbend. But for good. But it was actually because of evil. Mm. Great. Well, that leaves the final question. Are we having a boy or a girl? What was your question again, love? <laughs> <laughs> so... My brother-in-law and his fiance, your brother, sent us this adorable blue elephant and they also sent a beautiful card. We showed them the ultrasound shots and it said, baby boy. <laughs> And then my sister-in-law and her boyfriend mm -hmm. sent this cute hat for our baby. So he's our baby panda, mm -hmm. but he also has the freedom to choose <laughs> if he wants to be an elephant, as his uncle suggests and aunt suggests a bunny. We'll find out. Mm. We are having a beautiful boy. That's right. And how does that make you feel? <laughs> so happy. Yeah, me too. I'm so happy. Me too, my <laughs> Oh, squeeze okay. hand. Squeezy. Yeah. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I try to read them all. And of course, we are very excited for our baby boy. Thank you, everyone, for all your well wishes. We love you. Daddy. <laughs>